What's going on everybody? Hideous Thoughts coming at you with another Black Desert Online video for console. This is going to be um, the third part series of my uh, horse trainer guide and in today's video we're going to be talking about how you can get a dream horse. So um, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through and, and, get, and uh, sorting out all of my farms and the reason why I am doing this is because if you guys watched my farming video that I put out a little while ago. I'll link that in um, up the top of the screen right now so you just can go and check that out afterwards if you need to. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just uh, breeding all of these magical seeds and you can see um, the items popping up on the screen as I'm doing it. These are called, um, these are all procs that you need to make an item called uh, mental blank stone tail fodder so the stone tail fodder is one of the items that you will need to make a dream horse so if making a dream horse is something that you guys are interested in doing then i would highly suggest that you start farming if you haven't or you don't know how to farm make sure you check out that farming video that i've done i go into a lot of detail about how you can level up your farming incredibly fast um, I, I, I got to artisan farming in 10 hours. Farming is just something that I would, even if you're not, even if you don't want to do a dream horse, I would recommend doing farming. It's not something that I started doing at the start when I started playing, but I would definitely recommend that you, um, do some sort of farming just because it's a great way to make some money in the game. And the free dream and the free procs for the dream horse helps as well. So what we're going to do is, um, after I've just um, gathered all of these seeds, I'm just going to go ahead and make stone tail fodder so that you guys can see exactly how that works. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about the other items that you're going to need for making your dream horse as well. While I'm doing this, guys, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, hit and uh, let me know in the comments below. If you've already got your dream horse and how easy it was for you to attempt I I haven't got one yet maybe I'll get one in this video and that'll be an awesome surprise but uh, they're not the easiest things to acquire and like I said um, in one of my other videos as well uh, nothing in this game that's worth having Pearl Abyss makes easy to acquire so they're definitely one of the harder items to get, but incredibly worth it if you do it, if you do end up getting one. So what I'm doing when I'm making these fodders is I'm trying to kind of spread out the, like I'm trying to balance it all between the different ones, depending on which one I have more on, which one I have less of. So, and then the reason why I'm doing that is just because I just kind of want to get as much stone tail fodder as I can. And I don't want to be end up, you've got five, so the, so you can't get an even six, which means you're always going to have like one extra, one lot, one type extra. So what I try and do is I try and just balance it out as much as I can. And I will try to kind of like d split them up between each and, and try to make as much as I possibly can. Alright, so there we go. So we've got all of our stone tail fodder made. You can see I've got like a little bit left over of this one, but I, you just do what you can. Just try and separate it all and try and balance it out so that you can maximize like all, all of your procs. Alright guys, so let's have a quick chat about the items that you're going to need to to do your dream horse. So we already established that we need stone tail fodder and I did buy some extra because I, I want to do a few attempts. So I'm probably going to buy some more just because that's not going to be enough. But um... Now the spirit pouch of ferocious beast is an item that you can get from the you can get these from the daily login rewards. So if you come down here to attendance rewards, you can see all these items. So we got the breezy con uh, seaweed there. We've got the spirit pouch of ferocious beast here, and we've got blue uh, deep blue hoof fruit up there as well. So you can get these items from the daily logins, and then there's the um the other one, the rainbow gem fruit. So you can get them from the daily logins. However, it's very slow going and if you're going to rely on daily 
um, login rewards to do your dream horse, you're going to be waiting an incredibly long time. So just be aware of that. Um, with the um, with all of these, except for the the pure forest breath. So with the spirit pouch of ferocious beast, the rainbow gem fruit, the and the uh, breezy con seaweed, you can get them by handing in an item called the um, peridot petal. And the peridot petal is an item that you can acquire in Camasilvia, and you can exchange ten of those for uh, one of each of these items. The Pure Forest Breath is a drop item that you can get in Camasilvia area. I have got it outside of Camasilvia before, but it's incredibly rare. Um, areas like Polly's Forest um, and, and, and around those kind of areas, that's like where you're going to get it. Mind you, in saying that, Polly's Forest is meant to be the area where it's like really good to get these, but in saying that, my drop rate for Polly's Forest has been incredibly bad. I know others, others experience different but for me, it's not been, not been that great. So with these items as well, you can also acquire them by handing in Imperial Seals by doing certain tasks. So the Spirit Pouch of Ferocious Beast, you can acquire this by hunting Blue Whales or Calcs. And you can also get them through the Course of Training Reward Box by handing in Imperial Horse Training Seals. The Rainbow Gem Fruit, you can acquire these by doing Imperial Delivery. Um, and again, you can do it by the course of training reward box and the uh, conch seaweed. You can do these by imperial fishing and also from the course of training reward box. They can all be bought on the central marketplace. And But just be aware, guys, that the more you buy off the central market, the more this horse is going to cost you. So you want to try and keep your costs as low as possible, which is why... I try to just farm as much of this stone tail fodder as I can. When you're doing your farming, take into consideration the faster your seeds grow and the faster that you can pull them up or breed them and replant the seeds, the, the more of these um, stone tail fodders you're going to get. So it's something for you to consider as well when you're doing your farming. So we're just on our way to Altanova now to pick up our horse. It's in the stable there because from the last video you've seen I um, did some breeding on it. Um, so now that the breeding's all done, we're going to um, take it to the stable. Now there's two places that you can breed your dream horse. One of them is all the way over here in Grana. You can come here uh, to the stable keeper there. And the other place that you can do it is at the Stone Tail Horse Ranch, right there. So we're coming down here to Altanova to pick up the horse, and then we're going back to the uh, Stone Tail Horse Ranch. Just be aware, guys, that one if you start the breeding in one stable, you have to finish it in that stable. You can't. It's not available in all stables. Okay guys, so we're here at the stable now in Altanova. I'm just going to grab this horse out. Um, from the breeding market. So, um, and horses can run around freely here. Just be aware, guys, as well, when you're doing... Actually, I'll put them on for now. When you're um, going to do your course of training horse, you need to take all items off the horse and and make sure there's nothing in the, in the horse's inventory as well. So the other thing that you guys should know as well is that when if you guys start your breeding, um, let's say you try to do your uh, awakening on one horse, do not stop and start on another horse i did uh i had i had one t eight corsa horse and it was um i think it was a an 8d and then i made this one which is a better horse and so what i decided to do was i decided to sell my 8d and i started doing my awakening attempts with this horse now my 8d had already done oh shit, that's a big drop my 8d had already done like eight or nine uh -huh, awakening attempts and um 
then what I did is I, I stopped and I sold that horse and I started doing it on this one. Never, ever, ever do that because I didn't realize that the awakening attempts. So every time you fail, you create a fail stack. And I didn't realize that those fail stacks were... Um, were what's the word? Um, you can only use them on one one horse, and it's, I thought it was going to be like a family bound thing, but they're not. They're they're bound to that one particular horse. So never make that mistake, guys. Make sure that if you start with a horse, you finish with that horse, because otherwise you're going to waste all that money. Um, doing all those attempts on that one on that one horse and it's trust me it's not fun so here we are now we're at this stone tail horse ranch now what you need as well you need to make sure that your horse is a is a coarser horse and it needs to be level 30 so in the last video i told you guys how to make a coarser horse if you haven't if you if you are a free-to-play player just buy a, a tier 8 coarser horse off the market save yourself a lot of time and effort um, but you can see here it's level 30 and it's a tier 8 and you can see that the emblem there the horse the golden horse emblem at the top that means it's a coarser horse so it's got all the skills required so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that um, saddle off and the horseshoe and I'm just going to check this horse into the stable here okay so now that it's in the stable I need to recover it again I don't need money to do that. Okay, so now once your horse is in, you can see what we're going to do is we're going to click on the horse and we're going to come down here to Corsa Training. So you can see there, you see where it says increase awakening rate plus four? So that means I've done four attempts on this horse already and failed. So, let's talk about the three rows. You've got three rows there that say skill, elegance, and strength. These are um, the kind of like the categories that you would use to awaken for a certain type of horse. So, let's say if you wanted to make a Pegasus, you would want to fill up the skill section. If you wanted a Danae, which is like a Danae horse, is, I think that's how you say it, Danae. It's like uh, a horse that is good for running around in the desert uh, and things in areas like in Valencia. And the strength goes towards the Doom horse, which is a two-seater dream horse that you would use in like fights for battles and stuff like that. Really strong, good horse that you would use for um, a lot of fights, a lot of fighting. Okay, and your Pegasus is obviously your flying horse. It's the fastest horse in the game. Okay, so couple of things you can see on the side here you can see which of these items go towards certain uh, categories so the fruit of Yaranos we don't have the Yanaros uh, that's a skill which so for Pegasus uh, Ardenat sorry that's the official term the rainbow gem fruit same again and the stone tail fodder so this is why it's really good making the stone tail fodders elegance uh, is the Breezy Conch Seaweed, Mysterious Blue Conch, and the Spirit Pouch of Ferocious Beasts. And for the strength, you want Brilliant Crimson Fire Flower, Deep Blue Hoof Fruit, and the Pure Forest Breath. So these other ones here are ones that I don't have at the moment, and you can just acquire these through various methods in the game. Um, a lot of the time you get them from freebies from Pearl Abyss and stuff like that. But anyway, so what we're doing at the moment for console, guys... We have only got one dream horse available on the market. Uh, we've only got one dream horse available in the game right now. So that means that no matter how you fill up the categories, you're going to be guaranteed to get a Pegasus horse. And well, that's if you're successful when I say guaranteed. If you are, if you are going to get a Pegasus, if you are going to get a dream horse, you're definitely going to get a Pegasus until the next horse is released. Once the next dream horse is released, then you have to be more specific with your categories. So, okay, so let's say what we're going to do right now. To, to do this, you need to get 200%. Okay, so each of these categories is going to fill up in a percentage to 200%. Bear in mind, guys, when you're doing this, okay, when you are doing this, you can fill up each category to 100%. After 100% in one category, each category... Let's say that that category from then on 
each of these procs is going to be worth half. So I could put in a hundred stone tail fodder. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I put in a hundred. I'm going to come down here to training. And it's going to fill it up to 100%. So now I need to get another 100%. If I do 100 more, this is only going to be worth 50. So it's only going to go to 50%. So what I can do then is I can utilize some of these. Uh, I can chuck that in. That's going to go to 135%. Okay, and then I can what I can do is I can put in the, uh, the six strength. We can chuck those ones in there. And I've got one more of these. Alright, so we're at 142%, so we need another 58%. So what I can do really quickly is I'm just going to go into the marketplace. And I'm just going to see if I can buy... Okay, I'm going to put that other 58 of the hoof roots in there and then that's going to take us to 200%. So what we can do now is, it, you guys don't have to do it like that, you can do it any which way or whatever you want. If you want to just get lots of stone tail fodder and you want to do, um, what would it be? It would be uh, 100, so I think it's like 300, oh no, because you can only do... You can only do 180% max from one specific category. So that means 20% has to come from a different category. So just be aware of that, guys. So if you want to do just stone tail fodder, you would need uh, 100. My maths is really bad. I think it's like 260 stone tail fodder would fill up. A, is that right? Or 360. 180. I don't fucking know, guys. My mass is really bad. Anyways, then you would need 20% from a different category. All right, so once you've got your 200%, you've got your um, Crogdalo stone, then what you can do is you can come down here to Dream Horse Awakening, and you're going to click on that, and you're going to go, yes, it's going to do its magic, and pray to the RNG gods that you're going to get your Dream Horse. And, of course, we fail. The RNG gods shit on us, so... Um, we can do it again. We can come down here and I can show you guys what I mean. So yeah, 260. So 260 will give you 180%. Then after that, you need to fill up 20% from a different category. So we can come down here again and we can try and buy some more of these. Oops, I'm just going to buy the last of these. 44. Okay, I can chuck 20 in there. So I've got 143 stone tail fodders left. So if I buy another 120 stone tail fodders, I can do one more attempt. Hopefully I won't need to, but let's see how this goes. And of course, can we go again? Guys, you can, there's been plenty of people who get this on their first go. It's not necessarily, it's just RNG. Um, so you can get it on your first go or you can get it on your 50th go. Most people get it within, before like 20 attempts kind of thing. Um, how much do I need? 120. I can buy 100 at a time. Okay guys, final attempt for the video. So 
So you can see our, our success rate is 2.2% after six attempts. Pretty awesome. Okay guys, praying to the RNG gods. Here we go. Can we get the uh, Pegasus horse? And no, we can't. All right, guys, so that's going to be um, it for this video. That's how you make yourself a dream horse. And I know I didn't get it, but that's the method. You just keep following that process until you eventually get it. It's long, it's tedious, and it's expensive, but it'll happen eventually. So there you go, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if this video helped you. Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you uh, if it helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit that bell button for notifications when future videos go live. So thanks again so much guys and I will see you in the next video.